This is the QMaster 2 video quality tester. We'll be streaming out uncompressed video over the SDI port out, which is this particular port, over an SDI cable to the SDI port in of the encoder. This is the HD encoder. After the encoder has completed its compression, it will then send out the compressed clip over the Ethernet port out to the Ethernet port in of the QMaster 2. And QMaster will compress, will capture the compressed clip and will decompress it and then compare the decompressed captured clip with the original uncompressed reference strip. Simple setup, very easy to install. Today we'll demonstrate how the QMaster 2 video quality test and analyzer system will test a real-time HD H264 encoder. This is the GUI that controls the QMaster 2 system. Today we'll set up uh, the testing of a 2D HD clip. We will so we select 2D. Uh, the first uh, function that we have to select is streaming, as we will be uh, sending a stream of uncompressed video from the QMaster built-in streamer to the encoder. We call that static reference and we'll be streaming it over the SDI port of the QMaster to the SDI port of the encoder. We select a 1080p uh, 24 file that we have uh, loaded into the streamer of the QMaster and we make sure that uh, the reference file therefore is the 1080p 24.avi reference file. After we set up the streaming, we go and set up the capturing. As the encoder uh, compresses the uh, video stream into an MPEG stream that it sends out over the Ethernet port, um, we then set up the Ethernet port of the QMaster to receive the compressed video over its Ethernet port. All the addresses are already preset and um, we have to make sure that we give the proper test the proper name. We give it a pre-selected uh, 2D new test name and we select that and in that directory we will make sure that we have a decompressed AVI file that will be used to compare with the uncompressed AVI reference file as we always need to uh, compare AVI uncompressed to AVI uncompressed video. After that, we go to the score function, just to verify that we have the proper files uh, selected. Once we verify that, we click on run, and the test will start. First process is to get ready for the streaming. Um, once that's done, we'll transfer into capturing, and while we're capturing the degraded uh, video, we can show it on the monitor and we can actually view the degraded video on the monitor. This window shows the results of the test. The main metric, of course, is the MOS. We have a 4.14 um, MOS score, which is excellent. Anything above 4.0 is very good quality. Uh, the PSNR also indicates good quality. All the other scores also are indicating that we have very good quality. The results are also displayed graphically, and we can look at different types of uh, results. Um, we have PSNR, we have uh, blurring, uh, uh, blurring, blocking, etc. And um, uh, we can use the cursor to look at uh, particular frames. Uh, so this particular frame shows uh, a little bit of uh, blocking. Um, and we can compare the reference with the test frame on the monitor. And you see that we'll get some very different uh, results. 
We can also uh, play the video, both the reference and the test video, and do the visual inspection also that way.